Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious pasta. Okay, so let's get started. First, you need 1.75 cups of flour. You'll need two eggs and one yolk. Separate the whites from the yolk, like this, and if it's hard, you can always ask someone who can do it, like this expert. Mix ingredients until crumbly texture forms, and if you need to add a water, just add a bit. We're going to combine the little pieces into one big dough. Use your palms to press down on the dough. Peel and cut your garlic. Fine dice your onion. Let your dough rest for half an hour. Slice your carrots. Shafrani's extra when it comes to meat sauce. He uses four different kinds of meat. Pancetta, Italian sausage, ground pork, and beef. Cook your diced vegetables. This tomato sauce looks familiar. Oh wait, you can get it at Costco. Saute your meat until golden brown. Alexa. Remove casing from Italian sausage. We use two pans to make the cooking process faster. Put in your garlic. Here comes a supervisor making sure everything looks good and smells delicious too. If you don't want to use wine, you can use beef broth. This is a great time to refine your sauce and add seasonings if needed. Now time to taste.
This tomato sauce is the closest thing to homemade. We added lactose-free milk. Our supervisor is happy with the results. This is how he says hello to his customers. Add tomato paste to thicken the sauce. Now it's time to roll the pasta. To make it easier, cut your dough into smaller bits like this. Chef Ronnie, oh boy. Chef Lindsay makes it look so easy. Using this pasta maker was such a workout. I speeded up this video and I still look super slow. But it was fun and I think I got muscles. Who needs to go to the gym when they can make pasta? Look at the caprese, so fresh. Roll your pasta and cut it. Don't forget to curl your fingers while using a knife and ask an adult to help. Look how beautiful these turned out. Boil your water and cook your pasta. This is all the wonderful dishes that we made that night. It was so good! Thank you to all the wonderful chefs who taught me how to make this wonderful meal on their day off.